Hi guys, my name is Emma and today we're going to do a side lying series using a resistance band. So if you don't have a resistance band, that's totally fine. You can do the whole side, side lying series without one. You'll still get a nice little glowy burn. Uh, if you do have a resistance band, um, I'm using a medium one, um, but you can use a lighter one, you can use a heavier one if you'd like. Just you choose what you would like to do, listen to your body and see how you go. Um, yeah, nothing else needed for today, just your beautiful self and your beautiful mat. Let's get started. Okay guys, when you're ready, popping on your resistance band. So just bringing it over the top of your thighs. So bringing it above your knees, bringing it quite high up as it might slip down a little bit with this side lying series. Um, just adjust it as you need. All right, when you're ready, coming to lie down on your side and finding your comfortable position. So your top arm can be, I mean, sorry, your bottom, bottom arm could be nice and bent or you can extend the arm out nice and long and just rest on that arm if you'd like. When you're ready, our legs are gonna be nice and long. See, mine's already coming down. Extend your legs out nice and long. Tuck your tail under, really squeeze through your glutes and lift up through your abdominals. Bring in that top hand out in front of you, so just um, in front of your ribs to give you that little bit of extra support. When you're ready, we lift the top leg up and then we lower it back down. Good, lifting it up and lowering it down. So really controlling the lift and controlling the lower here squeezing through the side of your glute, the side of your thigh to lift that leg up and then resisting the lower down. So engaging through your inner thigh as well. Good, lifting up and lowering down. So you're really wanting to stretch that band, but we're not opening up through the leg here. So your knee should be facing forward and the side of your leg should be going up towards the ceiling. So we're not open like this. We are just coming like this, <laughs> which is like this. Good. All right, when you're ready, we hold that leg up, just little pulses here, little lift, a little lower. Keep breathing. Good, hold it up, little circles here. So you want a nice little resistance through that band. Good, and reverse. Lovely, Ex keep that leg nice and extended. We just bend at the knee and then we extend. So really squeezing through that hamstring as we bend through that leg. So it's a nice little hamstring curl here. Good, keeping those legs apart. Good, and when you're ready, we're gonna add those two movements together. So we drop down, we lift up, we bend and extend, good. Good, so your upper body is just stabilizing you here. I tell you what, I'm already feeling it. <laughs> Good, lifting up, we bend and extend. Drop down, lift up, we bend and extend. Good, two more. Last one. Good, can we just bend that knee again? I just want you to do little pulses up and up, good, Whoa. feeling it through the side of your leg. We have three, two, and one. Can we extend the leg out nice and long, little pulses up again? Good, just for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, give your glutes some love if you need. When you're ready, just bending through that top leg, bringing it in front of you, or you can rest that leg down on the mat if you'd like. You can also bring that leg behind you. So wherever you feel comfortable, we're working through that bottom leg now. So I'm gonna rest that leg down, flex through the bottom leg, make sure the leg is coming directly out through your hip here. 
we lift that leg up and lower down. We lift it up and lower down. Good, make sure you're pressing that top hip away as well so we're not sagging down into the mat. Good. And when you're ready, we hold that leg up, little pulses here. Good, so really bringing the inner seam of that pant, your pants or your leg up to the ceiling or the sky. Good, for three, two, and one, little circles. Ooh, and reverse. Good, for three, two, and one. Beautiful work, dropping those legs down. When you're ready, bringing those knees up. Press that top hip away. Your knees are on a diagonal from your hips and your feet are in line with your glutes, with your hips. Good, when you're ready, we are opening up that leg and closing, coming into your lateral leg lift here. Good, so work you through the side of the glute again. Good, and your inner thigh as well. Keeping your core nice and engaged. Good, when you're ready, we're gonna add on. So we lift up, we extend the leg, we bend it and drop it down. We lift up, extend, bend and drop down. Good. <laughs> Good, and last one. Now this time, lift that leg up. Can we just extend and bend? Extend and bend. We have four, three, two. Last one, hold that leg up, little pulses up and up. Really press that band away. We've got this, guys. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work coming down. Give your glutes some love. Awesome work, guys. Okay, I will be mean. We're still going on this side. <laughs> That's gonna be nice, but no. Let's just get it done, hey? Press that top hip away, coming into your clams now. So, actually, let's just come into elevated clam. So bring your uh, feet off the mat, bring your heels together. We open those knees out wide and close. We open and close, good. So resisting that sling back in. So we just we don't want to just go out, press the band away, and then just slam our legs together. Really control it. So really turn on those muscles in your legs to control that lower. Good. You feel the burn a lot more, believe me. <laughs> Keep going. Good. We have four. Three, two, last one, hold it up. We pulse and pulse, good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. <laughs> Give your glutes some love. Awesome work, guys. Let's take all of that on the other side. So flipping your legs around. Readjusting your band if you need. Good, finding your comfortable position. Oh, see my band's slipped down again. Good. All right. All right, press that top hip away, lift that leg up and lower down. Controlling the lift and the lower. If you want that extra balance challenge as well, you can bring your hand on your hip. It will actually force you to really activate your core more and even your glutes and your legs, actually. I feel like I'm like, because you're having to focus on that balance. So everything's kind of 
really working to help you balance on the side of your body. But if not, bring your hand down by your side. Good. When you're ready, we hold that leg up, we pulse. Nice, and little circles. So I want you to think you're painting around a golf ball. Good, reverse. Lovely, keep that leg lifted. We just bend at the knee, extend. We bend and extend, good. Oh, <laughs> it's Bernarama here today on my glutes. <laughs> Good. All right, when you're ready, extend the leg out. We tap down, we lift up, we bend, extend, down and up, extend and bend. Good, and last one, Whew. down and up, bend and extend, bend through that leg, we pulse up and up and up, good, <laughs> for three, two, one, extend the leg out, we pulse again and up, for three, two and one, awesome work guys, give your legs some love, so working through that inner thigh now, the bottom leg, oops, just finding your comfortable position, so behind, in front, or drop that knee down. Press your top hip away, flex through that bottom foot. We lift and lower. Good. That bottom leg is nice and strong here. Good, nothing else is moving apart from that bottom leg. Good, if you find this is a bit funny on your hip, you can press back onto your glute a bit more and lift and lower your leg from here. If you're doing that, you might wanna bring that leg behind you. Now my band's going all funny. <laughs> Ooh, keep going guys. Fix up my band. Good, lift and lower. And when you're ready, hold it up. We pulse and pulse, good. And little circles. Keep your core on. Good, and reverse. For three, two, and one, nice work. Bending through your legs. Press that top hip away, feet are in line with your hips. We open the top leg and close. So coming into your lateral leg lift here. Keep breathing. Keep your core nice and engaged and turned on to stabilize you. Really, if you're not feeling it through that side of your glute, if you find that your hip flexor, flexor is turning on more, what you wanna do is press down into the side of your glute and it'll help you to really activate that muscle. Good. Lifting up and down. Oh, right, up and down. And up and down. Good, are you guys ready to add on? When you're ready, we lift. <laughs> and low, um, lift, extend, bend, and low. I didn't give you much time to be ready, did I? <laughs> Just force you into it, good. Lifting up, extend, bend, and lower. Lifting up, extend, bend, and lower. Whew. Good, two more. Last one. Good, coming back 
up, we just have extend and bend. Really press that band away from your other leg. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> have tension on that band, good. Extend and bend for three, two, last one. Can we hold it up, pulse it up and up. Good, you've got this guys. For five, four, three, two and one. Oh my gosh. Good work, all right. Straight into elevated clam. We've got this, let's do it. All right, press those heels together. Press your top hip away, lift your feet off the mat. We open the top knee and close. Remember that really nice resistance here when you close your leg. Make sure you're not pressing, you're not opening up and um, falling onto the bottom, your bottom. <laughs> Stay nice and uh, balanced on the side of your body. <laughs> Good. I think this resistance band is making me a little bit delirious. My glutes are on fire. <laughs> Good. Let's just do four, three. We've got this. Two. Last one. Hold it up. Pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse, good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, give your glutes some love. Well done, guys. That is it for today's little glute burner. I hope you enjoyed that session. Um, let me know how you went. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later. Bye.